Hi guys, so I have been out. I went to the mall again. I just needed, um, there was something I forgot to pick up yesterday so I had to go get it. It was something very small, just actually a toothbrush for the little one. It's small but essential so I had to go back to the mall to pick one of those up. So I went into Boots again and they have a special offer on fragrance so I picked this one. And um, because I already did some shopping yesterday, I didn't want to spend too much money. So I was really glad I bought this with points off of my Boots card. And the offer is it comes with a makeup bag. And it's a Dolce & Gabbana one. And it, is, it has like ruffles on it. It kind of reminds me of the Prada, Prada bags, the one with the ruffles. And this is Dolce Gabbana Rose, the one which is um, my favorite of the the one perfumes. Um, then I went into John Lewis again. I needed something um, still on the theme of helping me to get to sleep into a good routine because I'm somewhat of an insomniac. Plus, I drink lots of coffee during the day to kind of keep me going and keep me energized, um, just for the caffeine kick. And um, so I picked this one up. This is by Cowshed and it is called Knackered Cow. And it has essential oils of lavender and eucalyptus. Um, and I've used their shower gel bubble baths and they're really good. They're, they smell really pleasant because like the thing I hate about aromatherapy is sometimes that they smell too herbally and um, a bit too grassy, if you know what I mean. And then like my hair is terrible so I picked up a Protein RX Daily Protein Fortifier by Frederick Fakai. It says it restructures, smooths and protects and that is basically what I need. Um, this cost £20, the cow shed lotion cost £18 which is not too bad because it's 300 mils. I almost got the uh, Morton Brown 1Z and that is I think £17.50 for 200 mils. Um, but I thought I'll, I'll give this a go. Um, I also bought this new lipstick and it is by Bobbi Brown. It's from the new collection Rich Lip Colour and it has SPF 12. And the colour I bought is Mod Pink. They have a really nice um, nude colour as well. Um, but I have a few of those and um, yeah, I have quite a few of those. And um, I have the Lady Gaga um, MAC. Uh, Viva Glam thing as well and that match that's very similar to the pink one So this is a lipstick I'm wearing now I think it somewhat matches my nails which are the Hello Kitty Nail polish that was in the Hello Kitty matte collection um, Just kind of an outfit of the day. I'm wearing my D&G sunglasses with the little Swarovski ugh, Swarovski crystals. I forgot to put in my earrings. I am wearing my favorite guest watch and I am also wearing this bomber jacket which I really like it has like a hood because it rains and then that my hair frizzes out uh, again it has this like ruffle thing um, that's really in right now and um, it has like pockets here and here which I really like um, I wore it with my Yes, handbag, which is super overstuffed right now, and it this buckle should be covering it down there. It's a really pretty bag, and I really like it. And it comes with an extra body body strap, so you can wear it as a crossbody bag. I just kind of like the way it wears over. Um, yeah, um, because I only went out to pick up essentials. I didn't take like my full full on handbag. Just took my wallet keys, um, mobile phone, camera, and um, that is about it. Anyway, so I hope you found this useful or helpful. Oh, smoky eyes, I'm wearing um, the Ariane Pool Timeless Base eyeshadows. Oh, I should show you the inside really. And it's this, oh, this eyeshadow here that I'm wearing, this one. And um, I'm wearing it with um, my Cargo Essential palette 
you remember it broke because it's really big and heavy and I'm wearing it with this as a highlight which is the highlight color this in the crease which is the crease color <laughs> and then this kind of just um, under the eyes and just kind of a bit more into the corners and stuff just to emphasize the look to give it some more pop anyway so I hope this video was good I hope um, it was interesting or helpful in some way and um, I'm being quite good at the moment I'm really getting into the swing of making videos again and um, yeah see you soon